Biters. Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today is the mother flipping day. I did the fast, seven day water fast, y'all. Today I'm having watermelon, okay? And I'm gonna put some um, lemon all over my watermelon. Um, I have some sauteed spinach here, no salt. I have some Mrs. Dash on there and some tuna. <clears throat> it's called lemon pepper uh, tuna, y'all. So it has lemon pepper seasoning on it oh and i'm drinking my water today uh -huh. yes y'all mm. <clears throat> you excited yes i am i'm nervous y'all i'm over here sweating Whew. you really catch my breath oh y'all big announcement okay for the end of the fast i lost 15 pounds so far I didn't tell you. I know you're going to be 15. <laughs> 15 pounds. It's five pounds shorter than my goal, which was 20. But I think that the extra five pounds, it's going to fall off. I have a feeling, y'all. Okay? So. <clears throat> oh, what'd you get? Uh, I'm going to let, uh, what we eating? Got that McAllister's, um, delicious. Memphian, y'all. Yes, <laughs> yes. Memphian with added bacon. Jalapeno chips and some uh got me a fruit salad, you know, so I don't be over here just drooling from my watermelon. watermelon. Exactly, you know. And I knew it. <laughs> ain't got no melon in here. <laughs> you can have some wine. All right. All right, come on. Let's ask God the best of foods we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna watch you, gonna have have you take here. your first bite. I'm gonna finish first. <laughs> I am sweating like a pig, y'all. Why am I sweating? Never tell people that you're sweating. You, you know can see it. No, yeah, you can't. Never let them see you sweating. Oh my gosh, it right. smells like spinach. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at all that meat. Mmm. Mmm. That roast beef. Mmm. Oh my God, that is so good. Mm. I y'all didn't even put no salt in him. Mm. 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 Y'all, oh my God, I was just in heaven. I cooked this with some ghee. Um, I believe that is, is it clarified butter? Ghee? I think so. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Happy Friday, y'all. What y'all eating? I know y'all eating something good. Mmm. This same is really something to scream about. Really? Because they don't even have, nobody else has a Memphian. What even is yeah, that? I know. <laughs> and I think I had roast beef at other places, but I ain't never had to taste mm. this good. It was outstanding. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to eat. I watched a lot of videos, and I just came up with this. I hope this is right, y'all. I hope it digests right. This morning, I drank some um, bone broth. They said that's what you're supposed to... It's good to drink right after a uh, um, water fast, though. Mm-hmm. How was it? What? The 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 uh the broth? Terrible. Really? No flavor. It kinda tastes burnt to me, honestly. But mm -hmm. yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I say it's good for you. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that was fresh spinach, please? No. <laughs> Why, what? Well, you want to eat healthy, too? <laughs> no. I'm just like, you know, wow, some, some just wilted spinach. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh my god! What the tuna? <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all hear the ice cream truck? Mm hmm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. 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 That is good and healthy. I'm mixing with some of the spinach. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all just saying we got roast beef, mm. turkey, ham, and bacon, lettuce, tomato. Brown mustard. That's it. Yeah, I was just watching this video about California. Um, what did they, what did they say? They passing. They pass. I'm working on something. Oh, they they're working on it. Okay, but they didn't pass nothing yet. We got a task force together doing. No, something. they did. Mm mm. California passes a bill to pay reparations for slavery. Did y'all hear about that? Let me let, me let y'all hear. Hey, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to the Black Money Minute. So it looks like California has a reparations task force that is actually doing their job. They passed the first ever law to pay reparations to anybody as long as they can prove that they are a direct descendant of slavery. Well, I'm hoping Dr. Claude Anderson will approve. I'm going to give him a call because he's been writing the book on reparations for many years. And one of the things that Dr. Anderson has always said is that this should go to descendants of slaves. We were the ones who built this country. And the biggest thing I want everybody to understand is that I hope that as the payments go out, we do not sell ourselves short. Remember, they stole trillions from you. That means that if you go to downtown L.A. or you look around and you see millions of acres of land or you see $100 million buildings, some of those things should belong to black people. And so ultimately, my question is, are you really going to make things even or are you just going to write a check? Well, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. If you'd like a free copy of my book, How to Build Wealth in the Stock Market by Investing $5 a Day, please visit blackmoneyminute.com. Hey, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to the Black... Blackmoneyminute.com. I'm going to have to get that for you up. You have to prove that you are descent. How do you do that? Isn't that possible? Other people have done it before. I mean, <clears throat> with the way that we was handling it, you know, just... I don't think... I don't even know if that... It's not... I don't think that's traceable for everybody. They had record of every slave, I thought. I mean, they probably didn't have break up every single last one of them, but most of them they did. We see it. But like, it. check this out. What? He, like, what? Families, you can do ancestry. families were broken up. Like, mm -hmm. we all got some slave in our family tree. There's mm -hmm. no, there's no, there's no way that we don't. But how, can we prove that? We can't. We don't all have a traceable family tree. To, you know, mm -hmm. but it, everybody don't have it. Right? Where you gonna go? Uh -huh. Where you gonna get it from? Our family tree has been destroyed and 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 tossed about, and and just you know, and there's no record of it. There's no record for what was going on when they was making slaves have sex with each other and then selling the babies, you know, and oh all of this. God. Like, come on, man, and breaking families up, <clears throat> bro. Well, some people can. Back. Um, you know how much they gonna give. I guess it's good for them, but my thing is, it's, it, they, it's so much more old than just money. They ain't no. First mm -hmm. of all, if you want to put a dollar amount on it, you need to break yourself, castrate yourself before us, and hand over the country. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> land. You, you talking about the land? Everything. The land, the power, all of it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You don't just cut a check for what you did. What you did was much more than, yeah, you stole the labor and you became rich off the labor. But not only that, you destroyed families. You destroyed minds. You destroyed souls. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you continued on this so many years. That's so much more old than just coin. Right. You know what I'm saying? Huh. I'm not even going to speak on everything I'd like to see paid. Yeah. This probably ain't even sweet, but it's good to me.
Do y'all, do you know? I'm about to say, what do y'all know? You know the young man, the 14 year old that fell from that ride? Why are they saying now, when they checked the ride like right after, they went to check the, the harness thing mm -hmm. and they said it was still locked. So basically, allegedly, allegedly, are they trying to say that it wasn't the fault of enough? the uh, daggone harness? Like how? In a court of law, please. Come on. You're not going to get away with that. You're not. Like, I think that is just so sad that they even... It, like, it's plastered everywhere. With the video of it happening? I mean, the video. And just them saying... There's a video of him falling? It was still... Yeah. You seen it? I mean, all, ones that I've seen, they stop it at a certain point. Mm. But... Um... Yeah, that's what they're trying to. That's what they're trying to say, and they just they basically trying to um, say, you know, um, it was because of his weight and all of that. Trying to, you know, just being insensitive. But the real reason is because of the negligence of the workers. Because just before he had went up, one of the workers asked. Was his harness secure? And he was like, is it secure? It's secure. As it went up. The, yeah, it's on camera. It is recorded. Hmm. So there ain't no kind of way they can say that he just, you know, slipped out of there. Um, on his own. I guess that's what they say. I don't know, allegedly. I don't know. Mm. Mm. They messed up. So, oh yeah, they gon' they gon' ooh Lord have mercy. Mm. His mama is hold up, like it's so sad. Whole thing, like I would have. Oh my God, whole thing. He couldn't have known that he was going to slip out of there, though. But he knew that that thing was not attached right. He knew it. What about the people that were on that ride just traumatized? Yeah, everybody. Even the people, you know, that saw it at the mm -hmm. park. Yeah. Wow, really. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Did you say you had up? Saw some at your job? Yeah. Or did you see it? For a brief second, but it was like I saw it 20 stores down, 20 floors down. Oh, you wasn't down there? Yeah, I wasn't down there with it. Ooh, like yeah. I can imagine if he, if he was that big, you know what I'm saying? It, <clears throat> it probably was, you know what I'm saying? It probably might have been messy when he hit the ground, you know what I'm saying? I honestly don't think it was. Really? Mm -mm. Not from the. um video of the absent so sad mm. it's filling my little belly i like mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't have no topics today. I just wanted to eat to see how I was going to feel. And I'm feeling fine right now. Um. Mm, that tuna is so good, y'all. Yeah, that's, anyway. a good, that's a good sandwich, yeah, and it ain't no foot long. It's perfect amount, it's perfect size. Is it? Because I was about to ask you, do you need a, a foot long? No. Do they have foot long ones? No. 
You would have to get two. Mm. Mm. Boy, that roast beef stuff is special. They probably got a roast beef. Next time, I'm going to get roast beef on me. Okay. What? I need to stop eating. Why? Because I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. I think I might have ate a little too much. What, you trying to get dizzy or something? <laughs> Get your digestive system and everything to overwhelm. Like, holy shit, it's going down, boy. What? You probably gonna need a nap. Oh, no, I'm napping. Oh, y'all. Oh, my God. Mm. Lord, please let this digest the way it is supposed to digest, Lord. Oh, excuse me. Mm. <laughs> excuse me. Sorry, y'all. I'll just take this out, huh? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Did you like blow that on me? Uh-uh. Yeah, I wonder if I'm supposed to eat anything else today. What do you mean? Like, I just planned on eating this, and that was it, and drinking water for the rest of the day. I wonder if I'm supposed to eat something else. But well, if I am, I guess I'll just eat the rest of this. But I doubt it. I kind of, y'all, this is what I want to do. I kind of, like, want to eat, you know, once a day. And then drink water for the rest of the day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like fasting too. Exactly. Because I don't want to overwhelm my system. And then, y'all, I want to still lose weight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it don't stop until I get, um, like, I want to be like 165, 170. So, I got a little ways to go. So, how was it eating to live? Well, actually, wasn't even eating. Nope, wasn't eating at all. I'm about well, not, to be eating a little. Not, not eating for entertainment. How was that? Oh yeah, I was telling him. Um, when was I telling you that? Yesterday? No, not yesterday. I had been told him anyway. I was telling him that I realized since I've been doing this fast that um, I eat for entertainment and I emotionally eat too. Yes, I do. And now that I know that that's what I do, that I'm not going to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to eat because I'm bored. Because a lot of us eat because we're bored. I know I do. Um, oh, excuse me. So, what do you mean I mean, I guess I'm still going to be, like, you know, if you're going through something, you might, you know, eat when you're not supposed to at 2 o'clock in the morning or something. Or... <laughs> You know, mm. or just eat when you're not even friggin' hungry. You're just, you know, you're mad, stressed out, or whatever. You know, women stress eat. We emotionally eat, and all of that. So, you don't. Know? I guess men don't do that. I guess. Yep, opposite, opposite of me. If I'm going through something, I'm probably gonna have no you appetite. You don't eat all. Yeah. I used to be like that. When I was younger. Well, lemon on the watermelon is weird. You don't like it? I thought you was going to like it. It is so good to me. Where do you even get that from? Mmm. I just decided to do it. Mm. And it's a shame. And I think it's a scary world that we're living in. Wow. Where you can't even find a watermelon. They got <sighs> seeds in it no more. I looked everywhere for um, watermelon with seeds. No, I called... Nobody, they don't, they're not even getting them in and they have to be the ones to request it. But they said that, um, when they request it, they don't get it. So I don't know what the deal is. I want to find, oh, these devils need to be oh my God. up. I want to find happen. like a, um, a, um, what do you call it? A farmer. Y'all, I saw somebody on the side of the road. I was about to get on the freeway. I saw this Spanish man on the side of the road selling honey. 
honey. raw freaking what? honey. It was so dark. I was, and I couldn't, it was, I, like, I couldn't turn what? around. What? The way that I was, that I could wild. not turn around. And I was like, dang, next time I see somebody on the road selling anything, I don't care what it is. <laughs> as long as it's from, you know what I'm saying, they garden, I'm buying it. Fruit, whatever, I'm going to buy it because. Well, yeah, honey and jars or something? And I never see anybody in that spot ever selling anything. Yeah, he had jars, glass jars. Hmm. He sure did. Yeah. I don't know if I would trust buying some honey from somebody on the side of the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll buy your watermelon, your cantaloupe, you know, all your produce. Why is that? I can wash it. But the honey, like, I don't know, you know. I don't it's know not from I... bees. Yeah, but, you know, like, where you process this at? Like, how was this filtered? Is, you know, what's going on? I don't you know. I just want to feel comfortable. It. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm buying it. I feel like I'm going to have a bee leg up in there or something. Oh, my God. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> 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 I can eat this. I'm bull. Just like water. I, I want some fresh honey off the, with the, you know, still on the, on the, what you call the honeycomb? Like yeah. snatched oh, fresh yes. out the tree. Exactly. Like, like when they do it on TV. Exactly. And just give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> eat that raw cone like the jungle guys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I want to eat an apple off a tree. You know what I'm saying? I never have. I, don't I mean, I think tree. I've eaten. Yeah, I ate a pear off my one of my grandmother's tree. I ate a fig, which I hated, off a tree. Um, she had a lot of trees though of different stuff. And I realized, like, I want to do it now though. Like that was when I was a kid. I want to do it now. Growing up, the only pears that I would eat, my grandmother had a pear tree, and that, that was those were the pears I ate. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat a pear at the grocery store until years and years later when that pear tree had been cut down. Why? Yeah. And why do people do that? I have no idea to this day why they cut that big pear tree down. And she was still living there? Yeah. It ain't no kind of way I'm going to cut food off. Yeah, I know, right? That is weird. It had to be been the reason. I don't remember. Did it, like, um... produce a lot of fruit to where y'all, like, had to give stuff? Did y'all allow, like, people to come and pick from it? I don't remember. I don't think it was. I think it was enough. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, we ate them pears up. They was good. But then, like when I finally years later ate a pear at the grocery store, I'm like, "What the hell is this mush? This." It didn't taste the same. Not at all. It's oh mushy. Pears at the store be mushy. And then I heard that mm. it's two different kind of pears. Like the kind of pear tree we had was called a canning pear tree mm -hmm. or whatever. But regardless, uh. I want to go to like a um. It ain't nothing like a fresh something off the tree. Yeah. A lot of time you get it in the grocery store, even an apple. Like the way that the pet, the difference in the pear mm -hmm. at the grocery store from the one off the tree, mm -hmm. it, it reminded me of an apple. And I'm like, wow, if an apple can be as in the state that this pear is in, wow, I bet you that's ooh. I've never had a mushy pear though. Like what? You see, because you've never had a firm one, so you don't know what a mushy pear is. I have. Firm. My grandmother had firm ones on her tree. Come on, now that ain't nothing like the pears in the grocery store. Those are mushy compared to the ones that come off the tree. I mean, I've had them at the grocery store and they're hard. And I didn't like that they were that hard. Well, I ain't never had, I never no had a mushy one. Grocery store. But I want to go to um those places where you can go and pick fruit. Well, we can't go. What? I ain't never seen no place like that. I could just Google it. Go and pick fruit. Yeah, Jaden would love that, I think. You don't think he'd like that? Picking fruit and putting it in the basket? Go and picking fruit, girl? Yeah. <clears throat> fruit that is coming off of a tree. That just seems like a, a, a difficult way to go get some fruit. We can just order some fruit through Instacart and they can just drop it off. You're talking about ordering fruit that, that it has pesticides all over. I'm talking about some fresh stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, go to the market and buy it. Like, go and walk what through market? the orchard and pick it off the tree. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> you know? Honestly. I do. So can we do it because I want to do it? I do want to. I do want to do that, but I want to do it in my on my own property. I want. I want to go to the damn fruit nurse to the tree nursery and buy a bunch of trees. That's what I. That's like the main. That's, what, that's, that's what I want to do more than anything in this world. But we it's, have to have our own house yeah, and I plant, want to plant a bunch of fruit and trees. do all of that and then wait. You don't have to wait that long. When you order the trees, they already be, you know what I'm saying, they might be as tall as the ceiling almost. 
You know, you can get some kind of, you know, they don't have to be like a, it, it ain't like they plant a seed. They bring a little tree to your house. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. So today was the seventh day? It was the seventh day. <clears throat> mm. Man, callous this deadly, boy. They got it going on. I ain't gonna lie. The fresh fruit, even. I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. Like, cause I still don't think that I could, like, you know what I'm saying? Your plea. You're gonna be hungry by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, after eating, now you're gonna you're gonna be hungry after your body, because this ain't even nothing heavy. So yeah, you. But well, remember, before you my go to sleep, my stomach is small. Yeah, but before you go to sleep, you're gonna be wanting to eat again. Oh, I'm not eating again. This Great. is it for the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm determined, honey. <laughs> Girl, yeah, y'all think you're gonna come back and finish this plate. But what am I finishing? This is all healthy. If I do, but I doubt it because I am full. I am full, full, okay? So. <clears throat> oh, you know what this should be good? I'm just what? reminded of as I'm opening this peppermint and looking at the iced tea over there. Peppermint, sucking the peppermint while drinking iced tea is delicious. Have you never did that before? Y'all should give it a try. No. Mm, mm, the iced tea with the lemon, Lord have mercy. Never even heard of that. Mm. You know what I forgot to get? A coconut. I should have been drinking coconut juice like, right now. I could eat a watermelon and a coconut. That would have been amazing. Oh. Love coconuts. Oh, and I want to eat some coconut too. Don't that sound good? Mmm, coconut is good. I ain't talking about the baby coconuts. I'm talking about the real yeah, coconuts. Crack open and <laughs> peel out. Yeah. I'm gonna be eating coconut tomorrow. And drinking the juice with a straw. Baby coconuts is the ones you drink. <clears throat> you can Absolutely drink delicious. the other ones. What you talking about? No. The it's baby chicken. ones. The ones I bought from the Chinese store or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what I like the other ones. You said you got those from the Chinese store. The ones that you buy to eat don't have uh, the water in there to drink like those. Who told you that? I All of them that. have coconut water in them. I Boy, I buy them, crack them, and eat them. They don't have water in there to drink. If you want to drink the water, you got to buy them baby ones. Well, why do I see everybody else cracking grown uh, coconuts else. and drinking the coconut water? I bought water. coconuts, if you remember a while back. I bought both kinds, regular kind and baby ones. Mm -hmm. the baby ones, I had to chop them, chop the top, and, you know, drink it. Stick a straw in it. Yeah. Yeah, it was mushy on the inside. Yeah, and, and, and the, and the other, other ones, ones didn't have uh, nothing in them. No. It well, was, maybe it that was, one did. It was flesh in there. Maybe that one didn't because I don't. Um, because yeah, they're all supposed to have juice. And if it do, it ain't nothing like the juice that's in the baby ones. That's the real. That's what you want right there. You didn't drink none of them when I had them. No. What they What was it like? Delicious coconut juice. Like those, I mean, like those coconut drinks that we get, yeah. but better. What mm. coconut drink? What coconut drink? You never had the coconut drinks I get from the same company that make them sour sour? No. No. You, you never had one? There's coconut water? Yeah. You you have a bad memory. I swear to God, I have not had one. You must have drank them all. They're yours, aren't they? I have been getting them for a while. You no, know, I have never like, drank a coconut. Um, I I got I've only drank face. one of those. Um, what else? The sour sour drink. I think I got some of I see you got that uh that uh sour sop gel in. How you supposed to you supposed to eat that? Yeah, lay on one of that. What? Mmm. Act like it's nasty. She said it was nasty. It's mixed with uh yeah, I don't think it tastes uh, that's sea moss gel she got, not not sour sop gel. Did I say sour sop gel? <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Mm. Anyway, y'all. That's it. Y'all let me know in the comments how proud of me y'all are. Did y'all think I was going to do it? I did it. And I will be doing it again. Um, and you didn't die. 
Sometimes I'm just like when I don't do a video, I feel like I am not gonna eat. Like people do 24 hour fasts and stuff like like you know what I'm saying. You've done that before. Like you didn't eat for like a whole what a whole day or two. What? Haven't you did it for two days? Not Probably purposefully. Not Probably not two days. Oh, so yeah. Cause it's good, y'all. So, you, so your food can digest, <clears throat> and you don't just be packing food on top of food on top of food. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be conscious about what I do from now on. Seriously, cause it's a fact. America, we gotta care about much. your body, huh? America, the American culture it eats eat too much. Way We're too much. Eating yourself to death. That's what it is. There was an expert that said that you really don't have to you don't have to eat like all the time they tell you to eat five small meals a day you don't have to do all that you can eat one meal a day like you can you know you still stay alive you you know you uh drink fluids um we was watching that show about fine. them people that was in uh, africa or somewhere wherever they was at them indigenous people and they they kill one goat a week yeah you know what i'm saying yep but making in between there, eat you some uh, whatever kind of little vegetables mm -hmm. they grow or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we're going to eat meat once a week. They make bread and what else they had? Yeah, yeah. You know, they bread had bread. Some, they had some type of green. Yeah. Um, they eat very healthy. Um, Whereas in America, trying to eat meat three times a day and shit. Exactly. But Everybody. we don't know if they just eat meat on the weekend. Maybe they just eat goat on the weekend. I, we don't know. Anyway. But <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um. Now, but I've seen like in other, in other cultures they don't eat as much. Like you know they might it's stretched out maybe once a day or you know one couple few days. You know, mm -hmm. and people be going to live with them and hunting with them. And it's been three days since the tribe has eaten. You know what I'm saying? Are you kidding me? Yeah. And that's and what? it's cool because you don't have to eat every single dog on day. Yeah. We be like a Paul. Oh my God, they haven't eaten in three days. Mm -hmm. We be literally like, I'm starving yeah. after not eating for. You just went seven days without. Yeah. Eating. Yep. Boom. Seven days, y'all. You can do it, y'all. Oh my God, I would encourage y'all. Um, if you want to, you know, check with your doctor first. Even though Dark, I didn't. Yeah, don't do that. He's gonna tell you. <laughs> but, he gonna tell you not um, to. Do a fast, y'all. If you can, at least do it. Do it for like three days. I'm trying to tell you, y'all gonna see some good stuff happening, ladies. Okay, some good things. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all follow me on my family blog channel. I am telling y'all everything about everything about this uh, fast, all the symptoms, everything. So, um, yeah. If y'all enjoyed this video, <laughs> did I already say it? Please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.